welcome to Vespa UK. We're ready to do some more work. <laughs> Expert mechanic Matt is here as well. So today we have to do a very important job, uh, which I'm gonna let Matt, expert mechanic, to explain what we're gonna do, because I have no idea. We're gonna try and do some floor pan restoration and rust, rust, rust treatment inside. By the battery box. The light, the light just fell on the floor. Just to stop it rotting right. away. Just put it on the side. It's all right. We're going to do some rust treatment on this Vespa 300. Underneath the floor. Underneath the floor. And inside where the battery box is. They have a habit of rotting. Well, that's yes. the floor. It has a habit of rotting, he says. So the first thing you need, a T20 volume. And a Phillips screwdriver. Do we have to drain the fuel first or...? Yes, fuel, fuel's already out. Okay, so if you're doing it yourself... You need to drain the fuel because you can't light down. If you've got a stand, brilliant. But if you haven't, you need to drain the fuel. So we need to... Remove the battery. Disconnect the battery, because this one needs charging anyway. If you noticed in the last video, the USB absolutely nailed the battery. Because when Lamy bought this bike, there was no battery strap on it. So I purchased one from Cheshire Bike Breakers for him. On eBay, very good. Everything is cheap on eBay. Cheshire Bike Breakers, Vespa GTF, second hand parts, brilliant. Can't rate them all you know. There you go, battery's out. Battery's out. Battery's out. This is a new battery at one point. We've got a hole in there now. Now that the battery's out, we're gonna do I don't know what. So we'll, <laughs> we'll let expert mechanic to do his job now. Oh, well, we got a nice battery charger here on, on the spot. Available from uh, Chinese motorcycle parts online. Everything is available online nowadays. Cheapy, cheapy, cheapest chips. Cheapest chip, fish and chips. <coughs> this is the battery box. There's the rust. Oh boy. That needs treating. I need more than treating, man. Got a hole there. We got a hole? Yeah. It's rotted through. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a I have a hole in my scooter. It says it's really bad. We're gonna show you now what you're gonna need for this job. I'm gonna go get it now. So these are the things you're gonna need for this job. You're gonna need a couple of wire brushes, a tin of corrust, rust converter, a tin of hammerite metal paint, mine is satin black, a couple of paint brushes, hammerite brush cleaner and thinner, multi-purpose spray paint and various other bits, drills, rust blocker, wax oil. So now you can see he's using his teeth to open the tin. Hammeroid crust. Looks like a milkshake. Yeah, it don't taste like it, but it Whoa. So you just apply it on the You just inside. apply it to the rust. I mean, what I normally do is put two or three coats on. Two or three coats? Yeah, yeah. We accidentally dropped some of that stuff on the seat and uh, on other parts. Make sure you clean it off quickly. If you look, it's going blue now, so you know it's reacting. How long do you have to leave it for? 15 minutes. That's all? There you go, folks. Leave it for 15 minutes and it's ready to go. And then we put another coat on. So now we applied the second coat, let it dry. <laughs> Matt's coughing again. What are we gonna have to do now, Matt? We're gonna have to roll it on its side. Gonna roll it on its side to do the underfloor. That's gonna be fun. Have you ever seen a scooter on the side? Okay, some work needs doing. Take as bad as I thought it was. It's actually not, not too, too bad. My scooter's on the side, crying. Pick me up! Matt's gonna clean it up first.
gonna stand it back up now. Um, and how are we gonna paint? Do the inside. We'll do the inside first. It smells brand new, ladies and gentlemen. Brand new. It looks brand new too. Whoa. That is nice. In about 10 minutes and then uh, we'll do the underneath, of course. I love this. It's looking better already. So the inside is all done. What's that foamy stuff? Water displays with wax. Ah, so that's good then. Yeah, so it stops just, just stops us. I mean, it's had crust, paint, wax oil. Well. So that should be nothing. All right, that is fully charged. Put the battery cover on. Put everything back in the place. Right, that's it. So now we are ready, Matt is ready, to paint the bottom, right? Another top tip, by the way, if you want your side stand, you stay in this position, use the bungee cord round the shock, and back to the stand. Another top tip from expert mechanic Matt. <laughs> this is a hammeroid satin black. First coat is done. Beautiful. Thank you, Matt, very much. Careful getting up, Dom. He's up now. There. So we're gonna have to give what? 10, 10 minutes or so? Yeah, yeah. Give it 10 minutes until it dries a little bit and put another coat on. And the uh, job should be well done. The trouble is with Vespers, it's because they salt the roads in the UK during the winter time. And the salt just destroys steel. Or if you live in Italy, you should be all right, because nice and warm all the time. Warm, warm. <laughs> We're ready to do another coat. Matt, get on the job. <laughs> So there you have it folks, uh, it's all finished now, second coat is on, we're gonna let it dry, uh, finish the battery charging of course, but we can't forget, thanks to this beautiful gazebo here, we haven't got wet, we haven't got wet, we haven't got cold, wind <laughs> windproof, rainproof, very sturdy, really good, if you want, you stop coughing will you? If you want gazebo just like this, link in the description below and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. This is it from uh, Vespa UK for today. Myself and Matt says goodbye and... Uh, ride safe. Ride safely. Perhaps we'll see you somewhere on the road. Bye for now. You'll probably see me knocking around the new year on a newer, a newer 300. Probably not. Yeah.